The 8 Laws of Money to Get Rich While there are no magic laws that guarantee wealth or getting rich, there are several financial principles and strategies that can help you build wealth over time. Here are 8 essential principles that can guide your financial journey. Spend less than you earn is one of the fundamental principles of personal finance. It means that you should aim to live within your means and not spend more money than you make. This concept is a cornerstone of financial stability and wealth building. Here's why it's important. Avoid debt by spending less than you earn. You can avoid accumulating high interest debt, such as credit card debt. Debt can be a significant financial burden and can erode your wealth over time. Build savings. When you have money left over after covering your expenses, you can save and invest the surplus. This allows you to grow your wealth over time through investments like stocks, bonds, and real estate. Emergency fund, saving the difference between your income and expenses allows you to build an emergency fund. This fund provides a financial safety net for unexpected expenses like medical bills, car repairs, or job loss. Financial flexibility, living within your means gives you financial flexibility. You have the freedom to make choices about how to use your money, such as pursuing education, traveling, or investing in your passions. Less stress, financial stress is a common issue, and living beyond your means can exacerbate it. By spending less than you earn, you can reduce financial stress and have peace of mind. To implement this principle, it's essential to create and follow a budget. A budget helps you track your income and expenses, allowing you to see where your money is going. It also helps you make intentional choices about how to allocate your resources. Remember that spending less than you earn doesn't mean living a frugal or deprived life. It means making conscious decisions about your spending and finding a balance between enjoying the present and preparing for the future. It's a crucial step in achieving financial security and working towards your long term financial goals. Investing wisely is a crucial aspect of building wealth and achieving your financial goals. Here are some key principles to help you make wise investment decisions. Set clear goals. Before you start investing, define your financial objectives. Are you investing for retirement, buying a home, funding your children's education, or achieving financial independence? Having clear goals will guide your investment strategy. Diversification, don't put all your eggs in one basket. Diversifying your investments across different asset classes such as stocks, bonds, real estate, and possibly even alternative investments like commodities or cryptocurrencies can help spread risk and potentially increase returns. Risk tolerance, understand your risk tolerance. Different investments carry different levels of risk. Your ability and willingness to tolerate risk should align with your investment choices. Younger investors with a long time horizon can often afford to take on more risk for potentially higher returns, while older investors may prefer lower risk investments to protect their capital. Research and education Take the time to research and educate yourself about the investments you're considering. Understand the companies, industries, or assets you're investing in and be aware of the risks associated with those investments. Consider time horizon. Your investment time horizon is a critical factor. Short-term goals may require a different investment approach than long-term goals. For long-term goals like retirement, you can consider investments with more potential for growth, while short-term goals may benefit from more conservative investments. Costs and fees. Be aware of the costs associated with your investments. High fees can eat into your returns over time. Choose investments with low expense ratios and be mindful of trading costs. Stay informed, stay up to date with economic and market news, but don't make impulsive decisions based on short term market fluctuations. Make informed, rational decisions rather than reacting emotionally to market volatility. Regularly review and rebalance, periodically review your investment portfolio and rebalance it if necessary. As market conditions change, your portfolio's asset allocation may drift from your original goals. Rebalancing involves selling overperforming assets and buying underperforming ones to maintain your desired asset allocation. Consider tax implications. Be mindful of the tax consequences of your investments. Tax-efficient investing can help you keep more of your returns. 
Utilize tax advantaged accounts like IRAs and 401k S when appropriate. Seek professional advice. If you're unsure about your investment strategy or don't have the time to manage your investments, consider consulting with a financial advisor. They can provide personalized guidance based on your financial situation and goals. Remember that no investment is entirely risk-free, and past performance is not a guarantee of future results. Wise investing involves a combination of research, planning, patience, and a long-term perspective. It's essential to tailor your investment strategy to your unique financial situation and goals. Compound interest is a powerful financial concept that can significantly impact your savings and investments over time. It occurs when interest is calculated not only on the initial amount of money you invest or save, but also on any interest that has been previously earned or added to the principal. In other words, it's interest on interest, and it can lead to exponential growth of your wealth. The key features of compound interest are as follows. Principal, this is the initial amount of money you invest or deposit. Compound interest is calculated on this principal amount. Interest rate, the interest rate is the percentage you earn on your principal annually or at a specified frequency. Compounding period, this refers to how often the interest is calculated and added to the principal. Common compounding periods include annually, semi-annually, quarterly, monthly, and daily. Here's an example to illustrate the concept of compound interest. Let's say you invest $1,000 at an annual interest rate of 5% with monthly compounding. At the end of the first month, you'll earn $1,000 asterisk, 5% slash 12 equals $4.17 in interest. This amount is added to your initial $1,000 making your new principal $1,004.17. In the second month, your interest is calculated based on this new principal, and the process repeats. Over time, compound interest can significantly boost your savings and investment returns. The more frequently interest is compounded, the more you'll earn in the long run. It's important to note that compound interest works in your favor when you're saving or investing, but it works against you when you have high interest debt, as it causes your debt to grow faster. The formula for calculating the future value of an investment with compound interest is equals 1 plus a tongue sticking out 1 plus n r n t where a is the future value of the investment p is the principal amount R is the annual interest rate as a decimal. N is the number of times that interest is compounded per year. T is the number of years the money is invested or saved. In summary, compound interest is a key factor in building wealth over time. The earlier you start investing or saving, the more time your money has to compound, and the greater the impact it will have on your financial well-being. It emphasizes the importance of long-term investing and the value of consistently contributing to your investments or savings over time. Setting financial goals is a critical step in managing your finances, achieving financial success, and building wealth. Financial goals provide you with a sense of purpose and direction, and they serve as a roadmap for your financial decisions. Here's how to set and work towards your financial goals. Define your goals. Begin by clearly defining your financial objectives. Your goals can be short-term, accomplishable in one year or less, medium-term, one to five years, or long-term, five years or more. Common financial goals include saving for retirement, buying a home, paying for your children's education, getting out of debt, or taking a dream vacation. Be specific and measurable. Your goals should be specific and measurable. Rather than saying, I want to save money, state, I want to save $10,000 for a down payment on a house within the next three years. This makes your goal concrete and allows you to track your progress. Set priorities. If you have multiple financial goals, prioritize them. Decide which goals are most important to you and focus on those first. Prioritization can help you allocate your resources effectively. Break down large goals, large, long-term goals can be overwhelming. Break them down into smaller, more manageable steps. 
For example, if your long-term goal is to save $1 million for retirement, set incremental targets for each year to make it more achievable. Create a budget. A budget is a tool that helps you allocate your income to meet your goals. It outlines how much money you can allocate to savings, investments, and expenses. Make sure your budget aligns with your goals. Automate savings. To make saving for your goals easier, set up automatic transfers from your checking account to your savings or investment accounts. This ensures that you consistently save money without relying on willpower alone. Regularly review and adjust, periodically review your progress toward your goals. Life circumstances and financial situations change, so it's essential to adapt your goals and financial plan as needed. Celebrate your achievements and don't be discouraged by setbacks. Seek professional advice. Depending on the complexity of your financial goals and your comfort level with financial planning, you may consider consulting with a financial advisor. They can provide guidance and expertise in achieving your goals. Emergency fund. It's a good idea to include building an emergency fund in your financial goals. An emergency fund provides a safety net for unexpected expenses, helping you avoid going into debt when life throws you a curveball. Stay motivated, stay motivated by visualizing your goals and reminding yourself why they're important. You can create vision boards, track your progress, or share your goals with a trusted friend or family member for accountability. Setting and working towards financial goals provides a sense of purpose and direction in your financial journey. It helps you make informed financial decisions, prioritize your spending, and ultimately achieve the financial future you desire. Continuous learning in the context of personal finance and wealth building is essential to make informed and strategic decisions about your money. The financial landscape is constantly evolving, and staying educated and up-to-date is critical for achieving your financial goals. Here's why continuous learning is crucial. Changing financial environment, financial markets, regulations, and economic conditions are subject to change. Staying informed about these changes can help you adapt your financial strategies and make better investment decisions. Investment options, new investment opportunities and financial products emerge regularly. Understanding these options can help you diversify your portfolio and potentially increase your returns. Tax laws, tax laws and regulations change over time, affecting your financial planning and investments. Staying updated on tax changes can help you optimize your tax strategy. Financial literacy, continual learning enhances your financial literacy. Understanding financial concepts such as compound interest, asset allocation, and risk management is crucial for effective financial decision-making. Risk management, learning about different financial products and strategies can help you manage risk. Diversification, asset allocation, and insurance are all essential elements of risk management, and continuous learning helps you make informed choices in this regard. Goal achievement, the more you know, the better you can tailor your financial strategies to your specific goals. Whether you're saving for retirement, buying a home, or funding your child's education, continuous learning helps you make the right financial decisions to reach your objectives. Preventing mistakes, knowledge is a powerful tool for avoiding common financial mistakes. Learning from the mistakes of others can help you sidestep costly errors in your own financial journey. Investment research, continuous learning can improve your ability to research and analyze investments. This is crucial for selecting investments that align with your goals and risk tolerance. To foster continuous learning in personal finance. Read books and articles. There are numerous books and online resources dedicated to personal finance and investment. Consider reading books by reputable financial authors and following credible financial news sources. Take courses. Many universities, online platforms, and organizations offer courses on personal finance, investing, and related topics. Consider enrolling in courses or webinars to expand your knowledge. Join financial communities, participating in financial forums, social media groups, and local financial clubs can provide you with insights, support, and the opportunity to learn from others. Consult financial professionals, a financial advisor or certified financial planner can provide personalized guidance and keep you informed about changes in the financial landscape.
Stay informed, regularly check financial news, subscribe to newsletters, and follow reputable financial blogs to stay informed about market trends and economic developments. Continuous learning is a lifelong process. By investing time and effort into expanding your financial knowledge, you can make more informed decisions, adapt to changing circumstances, and work toward achieving your financial goals. Creating multiple streams of income is a strategy for diversifying your sources of revenue, reducing financial risk, and increasing your overall earning potential. Having multiple income streams can provide financial security, help you achieve your goals faster, and allow you to weather economic uncertainties more effectively. Here are some ways to establish multiple income streams. Primary job or business, your primary job or business is often your main source of income. It provides a stable foundation on which to build additional income streams. Side hustles, a side hustle is a part-time job or business that you can do in addition to your primary job. It can be anything from freelance work, consulting, tutoring, or selling products online. The income generated from side hustles can supplement your main income. Investments, invest in assets like stocks, bonds, real estate, and mutual funds. These investments can generate income through dividends, interest, or rental income. Over time, your investments can appreciate, leading to capital gains. Passive income, passive income streams require minimal day-to-day -day involvement once established. Examples include rental income from real estate, royalties from intellectual property, books, music, patents, and income from automated online businesses. Dividends and interest, investing in dividend-paying stocks, bonds, or savings accounts can provide regular income. This can be a reliable source of income, especially for long-term investors. Online ventures, the internet offers numerous opportunities to create income streams such as blogging, affiliate marketing, creating online courses, selling digital products, or generating revenue from YouTube videos and podcasts. Rental income, owning real estate and renting out properties is a classic way to create income streams. You can rent out residential or commercial properties, vacation rentals, or even a spare room through platforms like Airbnb. Passive investments, consider investing in exchange-traded funds, ETFs, or mutual funds that pay dividends or interest. These investments are managed by professionals, allowing you to benefit from a diversified portfolio without the need for active management. Self-employment, if you have skills or expertise in a particular field, you can work as a self-employed consultant or contractor. This allows you to take on different clients and projects, diversifying your income sources. Multiple businesses, some entrepreneurs operate multiple businesses simultaneously. These businesses can be related or entirely different, helping you tap into various markets and industries. Network marketing, while it's important to be cautious with multi-level marketing, MLM, opportunities, some individuals generate additional income through legitimate network marketing companies. Teaching and coaching, if you have specialized knowledge or skills, consider offering teaching or coaching services. This can include tutoring, life coaching, business consulting, or fitness coaching. It's essential to carefully manage your multiple income streams to avoid overextending yourself or sacrificing work-life balance. Additionally, consider your risk tolerance and ensure that your income sources are legal and ethical. Diversifying your income streams can provide financial stability and help you achieve your financial goals more quickly. Keep in mind that it may take time and effort to establish and grow these additional sources of income, so be patient and persistent in your efforts. Managing debt wisely is a critical aspect of achieving financial stability and building wealth. Debt can be a useful tool when used strategically, but it can also become a significant financial burden if not managed properly. Here are some essential tips for managing debt wisely. Understand your debt. Begin by understanding the types of debt you have. Common forms of debt include credit card debt, student loans, mortgages, car loans, personal loans, and medical bills. Each type of debt may have different interest rates, terms, and repayment options. Create a debt repayment plan, develop a structured plan to pay off your debts. Start by listing all your debts, including the outstanding balance, interest rates, and minimum monthly payments. 
prioritize paying off high interest debt first, as it costs you more over time. Budgeting, create and stick to a budget that accounts for your monthly expenses, including debt repayments. Ensure that your budget allows for both your essential expenses and debt payments while leaving room for savings and investments. Emergency Fund, Build and Maintain an Emergency Fund Having savings set aside for unexpected expenses can prevent you from turning to high-interest debt when financial emergencies arise. Consolidate High-Interest Debt Consider consolidating high-interest debt with a lower-interest option. Balance transfer credit cards, debt consolidation loans, or home equity loans can help you streamline your debt and reduce your interest costs. Negotiate with creditors. If you're struggling to make payments, reach out to your creditors to discuss your situation. They may be willing to offer temporary relief, such as lower interest rates, modified payment plans, or settlements. Automate payments. Set up automatic payments for your debts to ensure you never miss a due date. This can help you avoid late fees and protect your credit score. Increase income, look for opportunities to increase your income, such as taking on a part-time job or starting a side hustle. The extra income can accelerate your debt repayment. Avoid new debt, while repaying your existing debt, avoid taking on new debt, especially high-interest debt. Be mindful of your spending and live within your means. Educate yourself, learn about personal finance, debt management strategies, and credit management. The more you know, the better equipped you'll be to make informed decisions about your debt. Pay more than the minimum, whenever possible, pay more than the minimum required on your debts. This reduces the principal balance and the total interest paid over time. Review your interest rates, periodically review the interest rates on your debts. If your credit score has improved, you may be eligible for lower rates, which can save you money. Prioritize high interest debt. Focus on paying off high-interest debt first, as it's the most costly. Once you've paid off high-interest debt, redirect those funds toward other debts or investments. Managing debt wisely is essential for achieving financial freedom and building wealth. Reducing and eliminating high-interest debt can free up more of your income for savings and investments, allowing you to secure your financial future. Patience and discipline are two fundamental virtues when it comes to achieving financial success and building wealth. These qualities are essential for making sound financial decisions, sticking to a long-term plan, and weathering the ups and downs of the financial markets. Here's why patience and discipline are crucial in personal finance. 1. Long-term perspective, patience and discipline encourage you to adopt a long-term perspective. Building wealth is a gradual process that typically occurs over years or decades. It's important to stay committed to your financial goals and not get discouraged by short-term fluctuations. 2. Emotional control. Emotional reactions, such as fear and greed, can lead to impulsive financial decisions that may harm your financial well-being. Patience and discipline help you keep your emotions in check and avoid making hasty, emotionally driven choices. 3. Consistency. Consistency is a key element of financial success. By consistently saving and investing over time, you benefit from compound interest and dollar cost averaging. Patience and discipline help you stick to your savings and investment plan, even during challenging times. 4. Delayed gratification. Patience and discipline are closely linked to the ability to delay gratification. Instead of spending impulsively, you can save and invest for future financial security and goals. 5. Risk Management Discipline is crucial for managing financial risk. It helps you adhere to your risk tolerance and avoid making overly aggressive or overly conservative investment choices. 6. Goal Achievement Achieving your financial goals often requires a series of consistent, disciplined actions. Whether it's saving for retirement, paying off debt, or building an emergency fund, Staying the course is vital. 7. Rational decision making. Patience and discipline enable you to make rational financial decisions based on your long term objectives, rather than reacting to short term market fluctuations or external pressures. 8. Learning and adaptation. Patience and discipline also apply to the process of learning and adapting. You may need patience to acquire financial knowledge and discipline to adapt your strategies as circumstances change. 
Here are some practical ways to cultivate and maintain patience and discipline in your financial life. Create a financial plan that aligns with your goals and values. Stick to a budget to ensure that you're consistently saving and investing. Automate your savings and investments to remove the temptation to spend impulsively. Minimize the number of financial decisions you have to make by setting up a well-structured plan. Educate yourself about the principles of investing and financial management to build confidence in your decision-making. Patience and discipline can help you stay on the path to financial success, overcome challenges, and ultimately achieve your financial goals. While it may be tempting to chase quick financial gains or react to market fluctuations, the most successful financial strategies are built on a foundation of patience and discipline. Remember that becoming rich or wealthy means different things to different people. It's essential to align your financial goals with your values and priorities. What's most important is to have financial security and a plan that helps you achieve your financial objectives while ensuring a comfortable and fulfilling life.